Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of the Crazy Town Podcast. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT, Dynamite, the explosive one, TNT, the Iano, MGHT. What up, Joni? Oh, dude, I'm I'm right here for you. <laughs> I'm right here. <laughs> I'm right here for you. I'm right here. And all of you guys. I'm glad that you're here for us. Yeah, dude. You uh-huh. need anything? I'm, I'm here to help. Uh, I mean, I can use a foot massage and that's since you're offering. Oh, my hands are broken. Don't you notice? Well, that's not cool, Jonas. No, dude. I broke them so I wouldn't ever touch your fucking feet. <laughs> <laughs> Again. <laughs> yes, exactly. I don't blame you, dude. This is why I'm single. Yeah, dude. You give me one foot massage, dude, and you're done for life. That's it, dude. You're That's like a you're like a succubus, <laughs> suckling upon the teats of the fingers to foot finger rubs, dude. I'm a foot. I'm a foot succubus. I guess so. You uh, just that, admitted oh, it. Is that? Can you do that? We just have a soundbite of you going, "I'm a foot succubus." <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today on the Crazy Town Podcast. And whether you're watching us uh, uh, on YouTube under Crazy Town Media or uh, you know Spotify, iTunes, you know this it's tickling your eardrums with our sultry tones. This dude he does Twitch things. TNT Dynamite. I'm on Twitch every single day at 10 o'clock Central. That's TNT D I N O M I G H T underscore Crazy Town at Twitch TV. Come here, yeah, boy. Yeah, do it. Do it. What uh, what what's new with you, man? New week, new new life, new month, new. No, it's not a new month. <laughs> I'm a liar. <laughs> Truth, not facts. Well, yeah, it might be a new month from the last time we recorded. Uh, probably not. I don't know, dude. Everything's fine. Uh, just, life is wonderful. I, I can't complain, man. Any day above ground, you know. Uh, still got all my, my health and wealth and, and stuff. And, yeah, dude. And, Give know, me some of that wealth. <laughs> very little wealth. <laughs> the wealth is tiny, but, you know, I, I make it work. My mom By wealth, says it's you mean nice. not deficit. <laughs> Yes. You don't have a negative bank account, so you have wealth. Yeah, my mom says that any girl who uh, saw my wealth would be a lucky lady. She says my wealth is a nice size. Oh, really? (laughs) You have a nice size wealth. Yeah. She says, is that normal size wealth, honey? (laughs) I love it. A lot of guys have that size wealth. I'm like, oh, thanks, mom. Yeah. Wow. I love how your mom uh, (laughs) strokes your wealth ego. Right? (laughs) So uh, you got anything for me? Let me go something I got. What what you got shooting over there in the hip? Oh, hell yeah, Jonas. First thing I want to start out with, Jonas. So uh, I guess the Democrats must have won, Jonas. They got big old Kamala Harris. Oh yeah, it's, how do you We're feel? Going politics first out. Well, we might. It's a it's a thing. How do you how do you how you feeling about Kamala Harris the, the VP? Pick? I don't know enough about her, but she she speaks better than the guy who's running for president. <laughs> All right, so I'm not a big fan of any of the parties involved with this year's election, but I can, the parties or the people, the people, yeah, any of the people, but I cannot wait to see Kamala Harris go up against Mike Pence. I can't either. I was just talking about this the other day. Exactly. Mike Pence is not the be- most well-spoken man. <laughs> and and Kamala Harris, from what I've seen, is very, very s- sharp-tongued. She was a fucking lawyer who just oh, like yeah, made people yeah. trip on their words for a living. Oh, yeah, dude. She she gets that, like, that angry mother tone of voice where it's just like, <laughs> now tell me, <laughs> why are the American people in hurt- are hurting right now? Um... I don't know, Miss uh, Harris. So recently, Mike Pence was uh he was doing uh just like a speech, I guess. I don't know if it was at a Trump rally or what the context right, was right, right. necessarily, but he gets up on stage and he says, uh, "Joe Biden and Kamala Harris want to limit the amount of uh, red meat that you can eat in a day," <laughs> and everybody in the office, everybody in the in the audience goes, "Boo." Like with that much enthusiasm, and they're like, "Boo!" And then wait, they want to limit the amount of red meat we can eat. I don't know where they get this okay, from. Anyway, anyway cool, cool, cool. and then he proceeds to go as like, "Well, Donald Trump and Mike Pence are not going to cut America's meat." And I'm like, "What? Well, you do realize what you just said there? <laughs> you just basically said you're not going to circumcise America. That's what it means when you cut your meat. Oh, you know, wow! You know, I'm just going to let that slide. All yeah. right, you can't cut our meat, Jonas. Do not cut my meat. All right, I don't care who's president. You start trying to cut my meat. <laughs> 
I'm pointing at it while I'm saying this and looking at you in the eye. I'm pointing. Know, it's very uncomfortable. All right, Talking good. about your meat and like pointing at yeah, it. Yeah, I'm pointing. You're not going to cut my meat. I don't want to touch or look at you're anything. Not, you're not looking at what I'm pointing nothing, at. There will be nothing done to your meat. Yeah, you're looking at me in the eye and not what I'm pointing at. I need you to look at the meat <laughs> and, and signify Down here, not up here. Yeah, yeah my, my meat is down here, Jonas. Yeah, Thank you. Yeah. I don't look at you as a, as a piece of meat, dude. I know you're more than that. So, uh, yeah, we ain't really political here, so I won't, we won't get into it. But I do think that it's interesting. Um, I, whatever side you, you choose to vote for, you know, I hope that uh, you make a good decision. I mean, everyone who votes for their side is thinking they made a good decision. That's oh why they vote. Oh, my God, dude. Shoot, shoot, I don't know. Just don't vote for fucking Kanye. <laughs> political stance all right like don't vote for kanye. Over kanye you're making the right choice yeah man i don't want to like i don't want to i don't want to be those guys because we we've said that we wouldn't be those guys in the beginning but fuck don't vote for fucking kanye whatever you do all right <laughs> <laughs> whatever you do am i allowed to say don't vote for kanye i don't care please do <laughs> Why would like like I say it? It's fine. You say it. It's racist. There's, there's I don't think it is. That, like you say are fine, and if I said we're racist, what? Not, so, not, even Kanye is not a race thing. He's a lunatic. Fair, fair. Just making sure, dude. I just didn't want to go out and say it. Don't vote for Kanye and have someone try to. Well, I appreciate put some you. connotations in my mouth. I appreciate you thinking about it. <laughs> oh Jesus! So. I know this doesn't really apply to you because you don't work a normal work week anyway. Oh, hell no, I don't, dude. But, you know, Mr. Andrew Yang. Ooh, that's another presidential uh, candidate. Yeah, he, he was uh, he was on the ticket back in the day. Mm -hmm. he, uh, he was the guy who was touting that universal basic income that everyone was like, you a crazy man. Not that it's not too crazy right now, pandemic hitting everybody, you know what I'm saying? You know, those... One those twelve hundred dollar checks nine months apart really gonna help everyone pay the rent yeah, when they've been working. Everybody turns into a socialist when the chips are down. <laughs> yeah, right. So now that he has failed at a presidential run and uh, all of that, he is starting to tout that we should create a four day work week. Yes. Instead I, of a five day work yes, week. Yes. Yes. Um, and you know, and he kind of has a nice mindset about it. You know, he says, you know, hey. <laughs> Does Pandemic it? is causing us to rethink how the world is going to work moving forward. Why not try something different like a four-day work week? People are stressed out. People are not wanting to leave their house to go to work. Why not try to do a four-day week now? See if it works. It People are already working from home. So what's the idea? Do they lengthen the hours in the normal week well, to compensate? 10-hour <laughs> days? Yeah, well, here's the part I got kind of confused on. This is where we're bad. truth, not facts, because I didn't do enough research because I don't really want to dig that deep into it. Fair. But like, um, so like, there's some different models for a four day work week. All right. Some are saying that you could work more hours, less days, which you know, four tens. A lot, of, four like some people work four fine. tens. Yeah. And you know, I honestly like, if if you still had to work forty hours, I would much rather work four tens than five eights. Absolutely. Because the that one full extra day off compared to two extra hours at work, those days you work. Way better. As someone who works 12-hour shifts, you can relate. You're like, yeah, 12-hour days suck, but you know what? Having, like, those two extra days off is amazing. Uh, It's only one extra day, but it, well, it's, still worth, it's, it's definitely worth it for... I'd rather take the extra money. Um, I've also worked four tens before um, at, a, as, at a job, and I prefer that. Because the extra two hours, you feel them. Oh, yeah. I'm not going to lie and say that you're not going to realize, like, it's just like, oh, an extra two hours a day. No, you're going to feel those extra two hours a day. But Definitely. having a whole extra day, another day off, you're going to love that. Yeah, when more. I used to work at a Blockbuster, we had a manager that uh, he it, Blockbuster was his second job. And he and he and it was a struggle for him to get there. At the technical the typical time we did shift changes. Yeah. And I was like, well, if you want to come in, I'll work four tens. If you want to work from like seven to close instead of five to close. And he was like, that would be perfect. Give me time to spend eat dinner with my family. And we uh, and we went to the manager together. And she approved it. It only lasted maybe like two months. But I worked like two months of four tens. And oh my God, that one whole extra day off was life changing. Because like, I mean, granted, that job was like 45 minutes from my house. So it saved me, you know, I was gone like 10 hours a day. Anyway, so if I'm yeah. gone 12 hours a day and like, and oh. I get one extra day to be home those two, oh, dude, I loved it. 
Oof. The day she came to me and said we had to change it, I like almost cried. I was like, <laughs> no. I was like, oh, I don't want to try and do all this stuff. So <laughs> the other option is it's like try to get make sure that you do the same output in less hours because yeah. the mindset is that if you that can't be when, trusted when, in a forty hour week, people waste a lot of time because mm-hmm. they're there so long. So if they knew they had less hours to get the same amount of work done, they would be more focused while they were at work. And yeah. it makes sense because you're like, oh, I'm getting a whole extra day off. I might as well work harder when I'm at work. <laughs> that one doesn't sound as, as possible right. to me, honestly. Right, right. And then the other ones were like, well, in part of and like they said, sometimes it would be like a, it's not technically, it's not like you would have a three day weekend. Mm-hmm. It would be like, it might, it might be like a, because they said that three days off to go back, it's so hard to get back in the swing when you work, when we work four and then have three off. They said it might be like a, keep your weekend off, but then have like, Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday off. I think ideally for me, if it was for me, I would love to have Friday or Saturday, Sunday off, and then have Wednesday off. So you would like work two days, have Wednesday off, work two days, have Saturday, Sunday off, work two days, have Wednesday. That would be awesome. Yeah. And yeah. then you have a middle of the week day that you can go handle business during business hours and like do whatever, and you still get your weekend. That would be nice. Yeah, and then your week is broken up. It's like, oh my god, I only work two days and get another day off constantly. I don't know if we're gonna get that though. Like it sounds, it sounds nice on paper, and it sounds nice when you can just like do it like that. But yeah, no, no. I mean, some some industries that just doesn't work that way. Yeah. Like my job, I work in real time with the people I work with. So if I'm off on Wednesday, someone else has to fill in for me on Wednesday. Yeah, they would have to do like maybe even like staggering shifts, so like you get the yeah. weekend off this week, and then next week you don't. Yeah. Yeah, exactly like well because yeah like it it yeah. like yeah the job i have it's those people are going to be working regardless so someone would have to cover me on the day that i'm not there so it wouldn't really be efficient yeah. everyone would just be constantly covering each other it would be a gd nightmare um for my job because i have a real-time <laughs> job i have a job that like it's like a on call almost like i need to be available <laughs> <laughs> um, but other jobs, yeah. Would work. I mean, like if you worked at the body shop, dude, and like you had two mechanics off, you know, one mechanic off on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it would be, it would, yeah. you know. Yeah. Hope, hopefully, you're working safe yeah, wherever right. you're working at. Exactly. And if you're not um, working, you will find work soon. Yeah, I hope. Hope. I hope <laughs> we do. Climbing <laughs> jacket. So, uh, they uh, they said in Finland they uh, they decided that it would be six hours a day times four days a week. I'm like, you're gonna cut two full fucking work days out? We're gonna go from forty to twenty four hours? That's, Damn. I'm like, you gonna pay me for forty? I'm only working twenty four. Am I gonna have two twenty four hour a week jobs? I imagine you just get the extra money, right? Just that get the be, overtime. That would be, dude. If I could get paid for forty and work twenty four, I'd be the hardest mother worker for 24 hours dude i'd be like <laughs> you up my pay you almost double my pay almost dude <laughs> give me like oh i'd be and no, what would really happen is you make the same fucking amount and you'd have to work two 24-hour jobs you'd be working two full-time jobs working 48 hours a week eight days a week you're like wait a second there's only hey where where else are you going to get the hot scheduling of your job action net what other podcast does this for you <laughs> yeah. none none nowhere else can you hear this right dude this is fucking <laughs> we will fun. put our ske- we will, i will get a calendar yo, yo. right now i will go get a fucking calendar dude <laughs> yeah and then uh i think you should i got one more point i think you should no go ahead say they said micro- microsoft did this in japan um and like one of their uh japan hu- hubs Mm -hmm. Um, they said they did a, they did a a trial where every, they closed the business every Friday for like a month. So like you only worked Monday through Thursday, had Friday off. They said during that time, productivity from the year before to that year of August was 40% higher than it was the year previous. Really? Okay. Now that, that is good information. I like that when they actually, uh, like test the cases out and it's not just all like hypotheticals. Right. Yeah, yeah. man. It's, uh. Fair yeah, enough. it's not bad. I think, uh, I mean, I, I support working four days a week and not working all the days. <laughs> Fair enough. I want to work seven days a week for four and a half hours a day. <laughs> that equal rate? I want to never go to work again. I want to work from home playing video games uh, in my room by myself. I mean, you're working on that. 
can I no look even on Twitch I still have to like communicate not that I don't love and appreciate everybody who comes to my Twitch channel yeah yeah if you want easy love from Dynamite you just come to the Twitch channel and I will virtually do. stroke we're married all right we're married now if you come to Twitch so we're like dating now right <laughs> basically yes if you come to my Twitch channel we're dating <laughs> I am that girlfriend yeah <laughs> It's like, oh, first date. We talked for ten minutes. Date. Yeah, we're dating now. You're my so you're my boyfriend now, right? Yes, I remember her. <laughs> I remember her very well. We'll never forget her. <laughs> <laughs> Josh, you hear about uh, the last blockbuster video? This might actually be one of your stories. This seems like something you it were talking about. It is not, about. but I have heard about it. Yeah, it is a. It is full of lore. The last blockbuster video in Bend, Oregon, is offering itself up as an Airbnb. Oh, I did not hear that. No. Oh, yeah. I, I knew that the okay. last Blockbuster existed. Yeah, so recently they decided, now you can only get this if you're a resident of Bend, Oregon. So they're not just letting anybody from across the country. Because I figure it would actually be somewhat of a draw. But it gives you, like, the whole 90 experience. They set up, like, a a, uh, a living room area. And if you, like, go online and you actually look at how they advertise it, it looks pretty cool. They got, like, a, a living room area with a couch and VCRs. And, like, they have a CRT if you want to use that. Of course, they have a standard dev t or... High def. Uh, yeah, high def television if that's what you want to use. And you basically have free roam of the store free range of the store and you can go and get whatever movie you want and you can set it up and you get popcorn they give you free popcorn and uh some candy they even have like the doritos bags with like the old doritos with like the squares and like so you, orange and yellow so you can live in like the 80s for the night uh, 90s but yeah essentially no so it, it's it's actually a pretty cool idea and it's only four dollars a night four dollars Dude, I don't know. I don't know. How the hell are they charging four dollars? I, I don't know if it's just like a test case or whatever, but they give you the the whole place for a night, and I think it's only happening for a few weekends. And so it's like a limited time. Like honestly, I would do this. Yeah, I probably would too. I'd if, pop in like Die Hard on VHS, dude, and watch it they, on a CRT. Yo, if they offered this, Jones, you know, I'd be like, let's do it. I, I <laughs> yeah. I'd live stream from inside. Hell yes, yo. <laughs> All right, so you go find find some no. girl, holler at her that lives in Bend, Oregon. I'm we'll not, use her address. I'm not flying to Oregon. We'll drive. We'll live stream the entire trip. We'll drive out there. Ooh, Killer King lives in Oregon. Does he? He does. Yeah, dude. It will, he tell him he lives in Bend, Oregon now. Yeah, I don't know if he does. He does not live in Bend, <laughs> he Oregon. He might, though. I don't know. I mean, know. there's as much of a chance he lives in Honolulu as he does Bend, Oregon. You know, if I could finagle it, though. I would. He can go holler at would a girl. You, would you fly to Oregon? I'm not flying anywhere for anything. John. I'll drive, dude. Drive across. I'm not driving from Texas to Oregon. How many days would it take for us to drive from Texas I don't know. to Oregon? I'd do it in one. I'm a maniac, dude. <laughs> I'm not, I would not know that. I'm not doing. It I would, would take, fly to Oregon with Corona. Make sure I'm socially distanced. Man, all gas, no brakes and shit, dude. I'm just saying, to get that live stream off, you know, how we could go viral. Yeah, dude. I guess and then so. what? You know what? That's worth catching Corona for. It's not worth catching Corona for. What I'm saying is. But you get in a plane, you got some dirty bird next to you, nose in their mask, dude. You no, know, they socially distance on planes right yeah, now. Yeah, they say they did till you see all the pictures on the internet where they're like, this American flight is supposed to have middle seats empty. And there's like people like spitting in the ceiling. No, that's not going to work for me. Yeah, dude. Then I would, I, would, I would have to order my ticket with the contingency of I, I need to be at least 10 feet away from everybody. Yeah, that ain't happening. You've been on a plane, that shit's like a match box <laughs> you'd have to buy we'll, we'll fly first class jonas you, you'd have tickets to buy, are cheap you have to buy nine seats so you get the row in front of you the row behind oh you and the row the seat on either side of you and then you gotta i gotta buy that many seats now <laughs> i mean i mean if they're only quarter price and you're only really paying for that's two seats yeah, right that's basically first class Dude, I do want to fly first class, but I don't want to spend eight hundred dollars or a million dollars for a seat. I don't know if it'll cost that much right now. I think it's it's cheaper. Um, movie theaters are also talking about opening back up. Um, the new Mutants movie, which is like a Marvel movie, yeah, is going to be like Disney's first test case. 
to see if they can get people back into the seats at the theaters. Yes. Did you um, see AMC's doing 15 cent movies? That's what I was just going to say. Yeah. Seats there are now 15 cents uh, to get a movie ticket. Yeah, popcorn's $38. <laughs> oh, yeah, the popcorn's are still for the same price. But no, they probably up that ish. <laughs> oh, wait, they don't really make money off of tickets. No, it's, ticket make, sales has never been a thing. The ticket sales is uh They get like a percent or something super yeah, small. Yeah, yeah that's like, mostly the theater. They they get so they get their money off of the amenities they well, provide. Well, I mean, and that's why the popcorn is and the why well, that's why the candy and everything is the price it is cuz that's that's literally the only thing they make mm-hmm, money on. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Multi sales. Yep. <laughs> Basically the shoe industry. Would you like a combo? It's only $972 more. <laughs> Why, yes, sir. Dude, I hate it when they tell me that, and they tell me that price and that voice. I hate that. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, there's a lot of things I hate. uh, No, I don't want a combo, lady. She's like, it's only $700 more for a popcorn, too. Whoa, is that all? That's it, dude. She'll give you a bloge in the theater, too. It's crazy, because if I get a a large popcorn and nacho or something, dude, yeah, it's basically 25 bucks. (laughs) It really is. Yeah, dude. Holy shit. But you know what? It's like I equivalent that to like you paying for like uh, Overwatch cash. You're like, I support the game, so I don't mind giving them an extra 10 bucks here or there. Yeah, you support the theater, so you don't mind paying thirty bucks for some nachos. <laughs> no, dude, I don't know. You know. Honestly, hot take: I hate paying a lot of money for food. <laughs> oh, me too. I do. I, I hate, hate paying, paying a lot of money for anything because at least if I'm playing for like some video game fucking fucking skin or add on or like some butterflies to follow my character around something like that. Yeah, at least I get to keep that for as long as I keep the game. I eat the food, I poop it out. It's gone. <laughs> Yeah, dude, you only get to keep that shit for about, like, 20 hours max. What the fuck do I get the memories of the flavor? I don't remember what happened 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Let alone what that cheese... T- it's the worst <laughs> cheese ever. It's not even cheese. It's, a, it's powder with water in it, dude. Exactly. And it turns into a cheesy type substance. Well, no, if I'm paying, like, I don't know, like, the, the if, what's the nicest restaurant you've ever been into? Can you think of that? Uh, I went to a, like, it's all it's like one of those high-end steakhouses. I don't remember the name. It's the one where everything's a la carte and the steak's like 40 bucks and then the potato's like $12 and okay. like, you know all that sort of stuff like okay. i went i went um for what my one year wedding anniversary we went to a super nice steakhouse and it was like 200 bucks for the two of us to eat there and wow. we got like steak and like a few drinks and some like stuff and dessert and like okay. it was a super nice steakhouse and both of us were like this was totally not worth it <laughs> <laughs> was, like, was the steak good at least it was i mean oh see? Here, here, now here's the see? thing here here's my here's my hot take on those sort of places yeah you pay that money for the ambiance because the steak you get at fucking Outback and the steak you get at fucking whatever Joe's super fancy mm. steakhouse, it's still a fucking filet mignon. They didn't get, they didn't like, mm. they didn't hand massage that fucking cow for 20 years to make That's, it super tender. You make a valid point. It ain't that much better food. Yeah. And like, it's, and then you're paying $20 for like a drink. You're like, dude, eh. Like, yeah. I would have much rather, like, we both were like, we could have went to Outback and took the other 140 bucks mm. and went and got drunk. <laughs> like, <laughs> I could have spent this on alcohol and liver damage. Right. Or, you know, or went to a, a show or <laughs> went to a concert or some shit, you yeah, know? Yeah, I could have bought nails and... Anyway, that's my hot take on fancy restaurants. No, anyways. that's 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 fair enough, Jonas. Um, that is a good price. I think that's probably more than I've ever spent at a restaurant. Now I have definitely spent upwards of like a hundred plus, but not in the two. Well, that was two of us though. It wasn't just me. Yeah, that's still. I mean, still, that's a yeah. hundred. That's a hundred dollars a person. That's that's yeah, not, that's yeah. up there. Yeah. But yeah, I I agree. Is that. I, when you make that whole steak reference, it's like a filet mignon is taken from a certain part of the animal. So what are they using? Better cows? Like, no, not really. Right. Not really. But I don't know if like the the wait staff is 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 better or if it's just like um, the chef, I should say, is better. Yeah, I think they just, you know, they just fillet you a little more. Yeah. They gave us a free, they, we told them it was our anniversary. They gave us a free dessert. Like, it, they do that at Right, Chi-Chi's, right. dude. <laughs> <laughs> Get a free fried ice cream if it's your birthday, yeah, dude. But like, it's 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 like it's just. I think it's it's part of like the just the ambiance. It's like going at suit, you know, because it's super nice. Everybody, you had to dress up. You, it's like a very mm. like you know, you go to Outback, you get the dude in his like his Confederate flag hat, fucking spitting chaw in, in the cup. <laughs> you know, you go to there, everybody's dressed up in a shirt and that's, tie and that's shit. That's a whole different type of ambiance, right there. <laughs> Facts. 
<laughs> oh man. Uh, did you have anything more you add about fancy restaurants? We're about out of time. No, it's fine, dude. But I, I just wanted to discuss some of this. We can just get into our price bag a little bit. That was good. That was good. All right. Cool. Yeah. Don't pay a lot for food. And if you have access to the Bend, Oregon Blockbuster video, contact us at what is our website, Jonas? Closed. <laughs> <laughs> Not updated. What is, com. what is our email? Jonas? <laughs> Hit us up on YouTube. It's the only reason. <laughs> Crazy <laughs> <laughs> or Twitch, I guess. Yeah, no. Crazy Town Podcast at gmail.com. There you go. Yeah. So, but uh, that's all time we have for today's episode. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next one for Jonas. TNT. We. Aura. Ota.